And that was another really good, thought-provoking episode of Westworld. So, if you have not watched the episode, I'm going to go into spoilers. So, you probably already watched it, but if you haven't, go watch it and then come back. So, yeah, here we go. Let's talk about this episode of Westworld. So, I think one of the things I really liked about this episode is that it showed you the hosts in the outside world, outside of Westworld, which was like fascinating. And they dove into like uh, more of Dolores. I think she was like the central focus of this episode. Definitely she was a central focus. But it showed her she was outside the park um, a couple times in this um, in this episode, especially in, in like the first scene of the episode where we see her with uh, Arnold. And you see like, a, you give the cameo of one of the, like the younger Ford which is cool. You only see him in like the mirror. But I love to see like that Dolores has been in the outside world and that's pretty cool. And then later in the episode when of course William brings her to that party, which is like <laughs> seeing her playing the piano is nice. And then that then in the episode when she's like sees uh, Logan like all dazed and confused and all drugged up. I don't know. He's like he's, he's somehow gone crazy after the last episode. Maybe after uh, William, <laughs> like, tied him to a horse naked or something like that. I mean, that'll get you crazy. But the scenes that were showing her out to the park, those are actually scenes from the trailer, which I was wondering, are they actually not going to go out to the park? But uh, they showed in the trailer, of course. I, I should not talk about the trailers too much because it's not about the episode. But they did show um, um, Teddy out to the park. So I think, yeah, we're probably going to see them go out to, outside the park at some point. We'll see how that goes if they actually go to the real world. But I like what I saw from Dolores when she was outside the park. And inside the park horse in this episode, she looked, she's badass. And her shooting those other guys, she wants to put on her side. But they're like, no, we're not going to go <laughs> go with you. And then she shoots them as like, I reprogram them. And man, she is ruthless as hell again in this episode. Like dipping that guy's face in that like white creamy stuff. I mean, ooh. Yeah, like, I guess it like burned his face. <laughs> that was crazy. Even Teddy got angry when he put that guy against the glass after he saw him being shot before and how, how they have like built him back up. So yeah, this is like something to see maybe in the future from Teddy, him being a little may maybe ruthless as, well, maybe not as ruthless as uh, Dolores, but just see him maybe, maybe he'll get a little bit of mean because he's kind of soft still. <laughs> But yeah, see him also shoot, he helped Dolores shoot those other like hosts inside that little barn where they're having some kind of last supper type of meal, which is kind of weird. But yeah, not the kind of last supper you want to have. And we also got that face-to-face -face meeting with Dolores and Maeve, where Maeve comes with uh, Rodrigo and uh, Sizemore. He, they didn't really showcase Sizemore dressed as like the... Like, I, I think he has a donkey or something like that, but he, he's dressed so dopey and it's funny to see him dressed like that, even though they didn't really focus on him. And they didn't really, like, Maeve wasn't really that much part of the episode, but it's nice to see her coming face to face with, with Dolores because really they haven't had that much contact with each other, especially in season one. They didn't really have contact with each other at all. So I like to see that. And maybe there's more to come in this in this season. And going back to the hosts in the outside world, I love that scene where the hosts convince um, Logan into investing or thinking about investing. He didn't really go through with investing. That's I guess that was his father's like uh, getting convinced by William. But I love that scene where they're trying to convince him because they make the hosts look so realistic and it shows you that the host yeah, they're part of the outside world before, so will they be so again and like and maybe more violent? Because I was like, yeah, they can really blend in with like the humans, and that would be, I think, yeah, maybe a future season we will see that happen in like the real world. So yeah, then of course the man in black, the man in black, of course in the episode older William, and we don't see much of him again, but he runs into Clifton Collins Jr.'s character. I forget the name of the guy, but he wants to get this like maybe a little group started so he can like I guess burn down this park because he doesn't want this park to exist anymore and Ford is playing games with him still because he runs into Gus Fring which was yeah it's weird to see Gus Fring in this episode kind of a cameo appearance 
maybe we'll see him again and later but of course that's where ford gives that message out that yeah you're not going to build this army you're going to have to do this all by yourself another thing i like is that ford left a lot of limitations for william when he hasn't hasn't played in this game because of course he left young ford there before uh, william shot him right like in the last episode of course and this time you have gus fring who he's left the message uh for for older william so yeah so it's interesting where like there's gonna take the man in black so who knows well where he will go and then finally the end the end i have a big question mark because we come across this construction engine or machinery that's digging up the ground we saw it in the last season but now it's in this season and william has showed in dolores before in the past and then we see it again and dolores is saying we're going to use it as a weapon and yeah, how are you going to use it as a weapon? That is going to be, that's a big question, how she is going to use it. I hope I'm not reading that wrong. Maybe I have to go back and watch the episode because I think she meant that she was going to use that thing for a weapon. I don't know what it's going to, like, how it's going to be, but yeah, it's going to be destructive for sure. So yeah, but yeah, it was a good episode of Westworld. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you liked it too because it leaves a lot of question marks and there's still eight episodes to go, so hopefully there's a lot of action, especially in the next episode. There should be a lot of action because it's all the preview after the episode. So yeah, what did you think about the episode? What did you, What's your favorite part of the episode also? You can tell me down below and you can check out my channel for more Westworld reviews coming in the future because I'm going to try to review every episode this season. So until next time, I'll see y'all later. I am... Out.